Okay. Hello and welcome back to the Matari Kitchen. I'm Kat and today we are going to make vegan Taiwanese popcorn mushroom. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Here at the Mataru Kitchen, we share vegan and vegetarian recipes that we love. Some of our vegetarian recipes can also be adjusted and made vegan. So if you have any questions on any of our recipes, feel free to write us a comment. We post our written recipes on our website and we are also on Instagram. So the links are down below in the description box. Do check them out. And finally, if you have not subscribed to our channel, now is the time to do so. It really helps our channel to grow and your support is really appreciated. All right, now let's get started. Today's recipe is inspired by a very popular, all-time favorite Taiwanese street food snack. It's the Taiwanese popcorn chicken, which is also personally my favorite. But we have veganized it and I think you should really give this recipe a try. So to begin, let's run through the ingredients that we need for today. We will need 10 shiitake mushrooms. If you cannot find shiitake mushroom, you can try using king oyster mushrooms or maybe butter mushroom. But personally, I think shiitake mushrooms has its own unique distinct flavor that works particularly well in this recipe. We will also need sweet potato flour. Now our secret ingredient for this recipe, the fermented tofu cube. You may need to find this in your Asian supermarket near you. Red Sichuan peppercorn, black pepper, white pepper, five spice powder, some fresh basil leaves. I'm using holy basil leaf today. If you cannot find this, you can use sweet basil leaves as well. I've tried both ways, they both taste just as good. And finally, we need some soya sauce, salt, and a little bit of water. All right, now let's get started. To begin, we'll need to prepare the shiitake mushrooms. So I'm using 10 shiitake mushrooms today in this recipe. We'll have to remove the stems and then cut them into smaller pieces. All right, now that we've prepared the mushroom, we keep that aside. We are going to get on to making the marinade. So for the marinade, we need fermented tofu. Here I have about 20 grams of fermented tofu. In it go. Then we need half a tablespoon of soya sauce. One and a half tablespoons of water. Half a teaspoon of five spice powder. Three quarter teaspoons of white pepper. One teaspoon of sugar. And now we whisk them all up. Whisk everything until smooth and make sure there is no clumps of the fermented tofu. The fermented tofu is a very essential uh, ingredient in this recipe. It's what gives it quite a unique uh, flavor. I would say even slightly resemble a very popular South Asian dish which is ha chong kai. It's a prawn paste chicken. Not sure if you know but that is also one very yummy dish. Alright, now that it's well mixed, we will pour it over the mushroom. So this will be the marinade for the mushroom. Toss it well. Make sure all mushrooms are coated with the marinade. You might think like, oh, it seems like a bit little marinade, but we don't want the mushrooms to be soggy. We want them to still be firm and has a bite. So as long as the marinade coats the outer layer of the mushroom, that's good. 
Okay, now it's well mixed. You can see that the mushrooms are all coated with the marinade. Now we'll just keep this aside and let it marinate for at least 30 minutes. You can marinate like, overnight even if you like. So while we wait for the mushrooms to marinate, we are now going to prepare the seasoning mix that we will sprinkle over them after we have fried them. So for that, we will need one teaspoon of Sichuan peppercorn, put it into a pan and toast it lightly. It's always good to toast your spices uh, before you grind them or you chop them up. Now add the toasted peppercorn into your mortar and pestle. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, you can also just chop it up with your knife. And then add in a quarter teaspoon of black pepper and one teaspoon of salt and then we ground it all up the Sichuan peppercorn just gives it another level of aromatics so it's not essential but it's definitely a good to have okay looks good now we just keep this aside and we wait for our mushrooms to be done Okay, so it's about 30 minutes since I've marinated the mushrooms. Now we're going to move on to the next step, which is to coat it with the sweet potato flour. Now, first thing, you just have to wet your hands and add about four big tablespoons of sweet potato flour into the bowl with the mushrooms. Now with the wet hands, I will toss and coat the mushrooms. And we'll do this for about a minute. Just keep mixing and tossing it up. Mix until you start to see that the sweet potato flour is not all white. It's kind of integrated uh, with the marinade that is coating the mushroom. And you see that some slight texture is forming uh, on the mushroom too. Okay, now we are ready to deep fry it. Now first we need to heat up some oil in a pot. So now you see the oil is shimmering, it's hot enough. We will then turn the heat to medium. And add in the mushrooms. It doesn't take long to fry the mushrooms, about a minute or so. Just make sure they are golden brown. Smelling good. Okay, looking good. Now we take them out. Now, every time you have finished deep frying a batch, you take a pinch of the seasoning mix that you've created earlier and then just toss it up. So we season the mushrooms at every batch that we deep fry. So now we just have to repeat the process until we're done with frying the mushrooms. Now that we are done frying the mushrooms, there's one last step and that is to fry the basil. Now I've got to warn you, it's going to splatter a little bit. Just a little bit. Yep, like that. Yep, like that. <laughs> it's going to happen even after you have dried your leaves to the best you can is going to happen for that split second, right? So just bear with it. I don't know if you have a splatter screen, maybe it will help. If you do, let me know. Did it help? <laughs> now we just have to fry this for like 30 seconds. Try not to over fry it. It's easy to get burned really quickly. So once it starts to change color, then it's time to take them up. 
Okay, so now let's play it and let's surf. Shall we do a taste test? Okay, actually, to be honest, I've already tasted it and tested it because it's so good. I mean, when I was cooking, I already knew it was good, so I already tasted it. But I'll tell you how it tastes now. Hmm. Hmm. Can you hear it? It is crispy, crunchy, great as a snack, great as appetizer. You can also make this when you're watching movie. It's popcorn mushrooms. It's really fragrant. It's got a very interesting profile in a very, very, very good way. And that's because of the fermented tofu. It provides this umami and also from the shiitake mushroom itself. So it's so good. You cannot stop. And I cannot stop. Mm. All right, we have come to the end of today's recipe. Vegan Taiwanese popcorn mushroom. Now if you gave this a try, comment down below and let us know how it turns out. If you've enjoyed this video, click the like button and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye!